Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another quick installation video on my 2002 Dyna Lowrider. Today I'm going to be doing a one inch extension on my kickstand. Um, I recently did a two plus upgrade on my front suspension. Uh, I went with the Legends. Um, and it has put my bike at a specific angle that I'm not extremely comfortable with. I also did 13 and a half inch uh, Batubos, uh, all chrome. So it has my bike at a little bit of an angle. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. the angle of it it's a little bent over with that lean so I'm gonna be doing uh, drag specialties plus one a chrome kickstand um, I got it off of JP Cycles. It cost me a little under 70 bucks. And so, yeah, check it out. So here's another reason um, why I'm trying to change this thing out is because it's also not getting full contact to the ground. This is just the stock kickstand. So I'm hoping with the one inch, one inch extension that it gets full contact. Um, just keep the bike safer. So here's the jack that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm just going to put it and configure it in a way to where I have full access to the kickstand. Um, I got this jack off of Amazon. I do not have a motorcycle scissor lift, although I wish I did um, for this specific job. I feel like it would be a little bit easier. But uh, I'm going to um, try to configure this in a way where it leaves that kickstand free uh, for me to move and just kind of uh, remove it and replace it. All right guys, so I got the jack configured. The bike is leaning a little bit, but I have it strapped down, so I'm not too worried. I did give it a couple shakes um, because I know that I will be uh, wrenching on the bottom or kind of yanking out a cotter pin um, and also just um, so I did a couple shakes make sure that it's secure uh, so that way I know that it's not going to fall over on me um, what I ended up doing was I was able to use this jack and so in order to access the cotter pins up here I pulled the jack back a little bit and I'm going to show you right now what I need to access let me get some light in here so I need to access this little cotter pin up in here that way I can push out what's holding in the kickstand um, it'll allow me to loosen up this spring got it to where I'm able to just uh, freely move everything um, that's why I have it in the position that I do um, just I'd say just be cautious be careful uh, if you're doing it this way uh, make sure that you do have some straps and tie downs um, let me show you what it looks like from the other side I uh, have one tie down right here 
These are just some easy pull straps. I have it connected to the jack itself. Um, I'm pretty confident that it's not going to move too much. I've already kind of, like I said, wiggled it around, uh, checked it out. This is just the free one. This is a uh, foot pump activated. I was able to just kind of reach over, uh, get it in the right position that I wanted it, uh, press it down with my hand. Be careful not to lean the bike too far over because um, I've had a situation happen where um, the bike has kind of leaned over a little too far. Luckily, someone else was in the garage to help me kind of pull it back. But yeah, it looks like I got my setup. Um, I'm pretty confident that it's not going to move. This is freely movable, which you want it to be freely movable. So that way, uh, while you're uninstalling and installing the new kickstand, uh, the jack is not in the way. All right, so right here, um, I have just a couple little sets of pliers. Um, I'm going to attempt to uh, get this little cotter pin out that's right here. It is folded back on itself, so what I'm going to do is just straighten those, uh, straighten those out. It does spin, so. Um, I'm able to get a good, pretty decent grip on it. Bring that piece up. Looks like I might need to get uh, like a flathead screwdriver, something a little bit flatter to just kind of uh, be able to stick into this cotter pin uh, and be able to press some of this stuff out, straighten it out. Um, these did work a little bit. I think I'd, it's going to be a little bit more efficient though if I do get a flathead. Okay, so now I got these just two little shorties. I'm gonna just going to... Keep trying to take this cotter pin out, straighten it out as much as possible so that way I can just pull it out with uh, the needle nose. I'm just going to be jumping back and forth in between tools, try to hold this in place so I can Get a good grip on it. Get it straight as possible. Probably uh, just be replacing this one. Might be easier to uh, if you do have an extra cotter pin, which I know I do. Uh, probably just um, muscle it and snip it off. This is a little bit of a struggle, um, but that's all right. We'll, we'll get it. All right, so I got it pretty straight. Just can try to yank it out now. It's coming. Where my I need to 
grab some bigger pliers. Uh, all right, got it out. This is a little cotter pin. Busted my knuckles on the ground a little bit, but we're okay. Then um, there is a little C-clip on here that you're gonna wanna get off. Or actually, it's not even a C-clip, it's just a little tiny washer. Can you see that? A little washer. All right. So now, next, what we're gonna be doing is kind of where this is at. If you guys can see, uh, we're gonna be pressing that out. Um, I'll probably try to use a punch at first, and then uh, from the other side, I'll go ahead and. Uh, Try to pull it out as much as possible from this side as well. All right, guys. So I have this uh, just kind of long punch. Um, this is actually a uh, Subaru CV axle uh, punch, uh, cotter pin punch. Well, actually not cotter pin. It's just like a those pins that hold in the CV axles. Uh, this is exactly what that's for. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using a rubber mallet. Um, I'm going to put it right on the ball end of that. And just uh, see if I can just maybe even tap it all the way through. Yeah, it looks like it's working all the way. Boom, clicked all the way through. Um, looks like my tool was a little bit jammed, able to kind of move that around. I was able to... Uh, my tool got a little bit jammed in there. I was able to just kind of lift up on the kickstand. Uh, cotter pin shot out. So here it is. This is what's holding the kickstand in place. Um, next, I'll be removing the spring. Uh, I'll take all the tension off of it. Maybe I could even just use this tool. Oh, well, maybe not. Um, All right, guys, so I was just able to uh, just wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Spring came off. Whole assembly comes off like this. Looks like this. This is where the cotter pin goes through, or on this side, and then the pin goes through, bolting it to the frame. All right, this is what it looks like under here and then this is the kickstand and assembly now we're ready for the new we are ready for the new kickstand for going in all right so all right so next step i am going to be uh removing this piece right here where the pin goes into I just got it locked in the vise uh, still probably going to keep this kickstand around so I don't want to scratch it up or anything so I put this towel but I'm going to be taking this piece off and we're going to be putting this on the new kickstand All right, so I just have a half inch on a 3 8 socket wrench. I'm just gonna loosen this bolt up.
All right, so after you take out this uh, half inch bolt, there is this piece right here that still remains. So I'm just gonna grab a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to be removing that. Make it a little bit further off. Pries right off. Looks like this. Shape specific. And we're gonna pull this other piece off. And we're gonna be needing this for our new kickstand. I'm just gonna take this out. It's kind of gunked up, kind of dirty. So I'm gonna go out and just clean it up a little bit. off three pieces off I used a half inch with a three uh, three eight socket wrench I just use a little uh, snub nose flathead um, to take off this little retainer All right, so there we have it. I um, cleaned up all these pieces and parts. Now they're all nice and clean, looking slightly chrome again. Um, I just used uh, Dawn dish soap, the platinum version. And then uh, on the spring to kind of get in between the crevices, I used a little bit of uh, Chemical Guys Diablo wheel cleaner. And I also used a uh, metal brush um, typically used like while detailing and things like that but I uh, got all the parts pretty cleaned up here's that uh, detailing brush metal bristle took off a bunch of junk worked really well um, this is also just uh, you know good maintenance for your motorcycle as well uh, I'll probably be putting when I put this stuff back. I'm going to be putting some anti seize on here, um, a little bit of Loctite on there. Um, yeah, looks great. All right, so here's the unboxing of the new Drag Specialties one inch extended kickstand. Looks like this thing was not packaged up too tight. Specialties. Yeah. This on. Okay. All right. I'm going to be assembling all this stuff back together. I will be putting some, like I said, anti C's in here. I ended up just getting this over at O'Reilly's. Cost me less than two bucks. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. and even
up tight. show you the difference in size I also uh, got a new cotter pin cut it to length got all these things cleaned up ready to install So last and final step was to get the spring on. I had and put the kickstand all the way up, not in the down position. I had it up and I got myself a pair of pliers like this. And I was able to just kind of stretch this, grab it from right here and just stretch it into 
and over this pin. Got it all locked in. Last thing I need to do is bend this cotter pin ends, but I got it all ready to go. Folds out, clicks in. You do see a little bit of a clearance issue, but um, hopefully that's not too big of a deal. But extends out. I'm gonna show you guys the final result here pretty soon. All right, so there we have it. Installation is complete. You can tell the bike is just a lot more upright. I will be showing a couple still photos of the before and after. Uh, just that lean angle. But drag specialties kickstand is installed. Got everything in. It's nice and shiny chrome. Got all the hardware in there. Got everything buttoned up. It's looking great. It's a lot more planted. Alright everybody, thank you for watching my kickstand installation tutorial. Remember this is the Drag Specialty Plus One. Uh, again, the reason I did this was because I did a two inch extension or two plus legends in the front and I did 13 and a half B-tubos in the rear. Um, the bike had a specific angle um, that kind of just a leaned a little bit too much for my comfort. Uh, and now after the installation of this plus one extended kickstand, um, you can tell in the video, the angle is just a lot different. It feels a lot more firm. Uh, the kickstand is a lot more planted on the ground and yeah it came out great uh struggled a little bit uh with that spring um recommend putting some high impact gloves on there if you don't want to bust your knuckles busted my knuckles a couple times on the ground and then just on the frame but uh make sure that you like comment and subscribe and tune in for new uh installation videos thank you for watching see you on the next one